at it again, pleading for a Tennessean to be let out of a long sentence. Former Tennessee U.S. District Court Judge Kevin Sharp and Kardashian West are in Washington making their plea. Together, they're pushing for a pardon of a Clarksville native named Chris Young. Desiree Wiley is live to tell us all about him. Well, Tom, Chris Young is a man who grew up in Clarksville. He never knew his father and his mother struggled with addiction. And at 18, that's when he started selling drugs. And now he is spending life in prison on federal drug charges. Now, Kim Kardashian West caught wind of his story, and now she's working to free him. Chris had previously been convicted of two drug charges, selling and buying drugs. These are serious offenses, but they're not ones for which he was sent to prison. This is Chris Young's mugshot. It's one of many. He's been arrested 10 times in Montgomery County between 2006 and 2009. Now his story is catching the nation's attention. Short of the president granting clemency, Chris is going to die in prison. Kevin Ring is the executive director of FAM, an organization opposed to mandatory minimum sentences. He says when Young landed his third drug charge, it meant prison for life. The prosecutor said, well, we're going to treat you as a habitual offender. We're going to use the three strikes law, essentially, and count your prior convictions. And now you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. Now Kim Kardashian West is joining the fight to free Young. She's at the White House today with former judge Kevin Sharp. Sharp is the one who sent Young to prison. The problem is with mandatory sentences is that they're one size fits all. And so you take away the ability for the judge to consider all the relevant factors in a case. Instead, they have to give a one size fits all punishment. In a perfect world, there would be a more systematic way to get these cases in front of the White House. And there, Ring actually went on to say that he's glad that Kim Kardashian is shedding light on some of these cases, but that he wishes President Trump would hear from organizations like FAM or Buried Alive, another organization that supports uh, justice reform. Now, Sharp, as the judge, didn't want to give that sentence to Young, but he was forced to. Judges have to impose the minimum mandatory terms. Now, the problems that Young could face when he, if he does indeed get a pardon, he has an active warrant right now in Montgomery County. So it's possible that he could come out and face additional charges for that as well. Tom? Desiree Wadley tonight. Desiree, thanks.